or welcome to my channel my name is Rachel and if you are new here welcome to my channel and whether it was the thumbnail or the title of the video I am hoping you will enjoy the content and for those of you who are coming back as my subscribers hey guys we're doing something different today but I'm really hoping you like it as well so we're going to try and keep the intro short and sweet because to be honest I don't know how long this video is going to be editing wise so in a nutshell as you can see by the title of today's video I wanted to try out some of Zara's new makeup they recently released concealer and foundations I know they've been doing their nail polish they've been doing their lipsticks and things like that but I just wanted to see if it was worth the hype what it's all about and kind of just how it's going to fare against some of the products i already use now with that being said complexion wise i'm obviously on the darker end of the spectrum so i usually use i think like a fenty 470 i think it's a good benchmark to kind of mention but i will in the description box put different foundations that i use different shades so you can kind of know where you match compared to me or you just get the gist of what my complexion actually is I will say I'm recording this in retrospect, so I'm basically recording this intro at the end. And I do think it's a really, really good one. So my face is, of course, using the Zara products. I've used foundation, concealer, as well as some lip products. So I'm hoping you guys like it. This is me trying to add new things into my routine. But if you do want to see any content with regards to what I generally do with my makeup and skincare and that sort of stuff, do let me know and i'll be more than happy to record that for you so as i said let's try and keep this as short as possible let's get into the video it is very weird to have you guys this up close but here we are okay cool where are we gonna start i have my bag of goodies okay so cool um i'm not sure what the intro will be like for this video so i'm just gonna run through exactly what i have super super quickly i actually picked up three different foundation shades because i just wasn't sure what my color was going to be in the zara ones i picked up w959 which i believe is warm n965 so neutral and n961 now the reason i'd be screaming i am not a makeup artist because i'm honestly still not 100 percent sure <clears throat> what my undertone is and do you know what if you guys think you can work out in the comments below please let me know um i'd honestly be more than happy just to have some assistance in working it out i also picked up their uh creamy concealers so the creamy luminous concealer i really like their packaging like really really like their packaging i think it's so cute so simple and just very on brand for them which is really nice so uh luminous creamy concealer i picked up the n960 and n956 and i will show you how everything looks actually that would make a lot more sense i'm gonna need some baby wipes i also picked up some of their nourishing lip oil so their lip jelly um not really much to show on the packaging actually i heard it's relatively similar to the dior one i haven't used the dior one so i can't be 100 percent sure if that's actually the case but i picked this up in just a clear one because why not oh on my lips now so i've already done my skin prep i've obviously moisturized and all of that stuff on my lips i love 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 using this i think it's so good and it really lasts um it's multifunctional so you can use it if you've got ashy hands and stuff like that as well and then last but not least i also picked up some of their matte liquid lipsticks in the color regal and heiress um heiress we're gonna do the old hand trick cool so heiress and regal oh last thing i actually picked up is one of their brushes i don't know why but i just thought why not i might actually use it today it's the kabuki foundation brush i was just like maybe i should use it because this is actually the sort of brush i use for my foundation anyway it's just a flat-ended kabuki brush which i think will be really nice this is typically as i said the sort of brush i used to um do my foundation anyway if you notice the one i've actually opened is the color n61 so you can't return makeup but that's gonna be okay. I'm just gonna swatch it on my cheek here. This looks like it's pulling a bit warm and this is supposed to be neutral. Am I mistaken? It's supposed to be one of the neutral ones. So. Next, I'm gonna try the warm 959. Obviously it's brand new. Love the frosted glass, although I don't think the fr frosted glass really helps with you working out what your shade is. And I don't know if they've got testers in store. I should have said I haven't actually tried any of these in store. I haven't tried any of them before. Hence why I'm doing first impressions with you guys. 
but I don't know if they have testers in store. So if they do, of course, don't be like me. You can just test it out. The packaging also has this cool functionality on the, the foundation bottle, which I think is so good when you're traveling. So I'm pressing that down all the way. It's not going. It has this little, um, how would I say, this little icon just at the front there, which basically tells you to twist it to the side for it to actually pump out, which I think is really, really nice. This is the shade 959. I'm literally just going to put it a dab right next to it. It came up quite a lot. I think this might be a bit closer. This might be a bit closer, guys. Warm 959 might be more of my shade. These are drying down quite interestingly. I don't know if you guys can see how it's drying down, but last but not least, this is uh, W959. And I, do, I really do believe this is definitely not my color. But just for the sake, ciao. Let's just wipe that away. Let me know what you guys think I should have gone for, but I actually think I'm gonna go for which what is essentially the darkest one, which is N961. To clarify, I'm gonna go for this first one here, which is definitely pulling a little red, but with everything else I'm gonna add to my face, I'm hoping it balances out, but I just think this one is a little too light for me to be comfortable to use so we're gonna go with the first one but let me know if you guys think that was the right or wrong thing to do i'm actually hoping that it oxidizes the light is kind of bouncing off my face so it does look a bit shiny right now but i am hoping it oxidizes and then it's actually more of my color but again let's blend it out let's see um what it looks like so i'm just applying some cream back to that spot where i've just used where i've just used the baby wipe all right let's get into it guys so usually when i do my makeup i do like to start with my base first if this does well and you guys do want to see a more in-depth like full face glam or tutorial do let me know and i'll basically i'll do it for you guys of course i'm gonna go through some of the products just so you know what i'm using with these and basically testing out to see how they're gonna work it is currently 2 28 in the afternoon so i will leave this on as long as i can i don't know if i will necessarily come back on camera but i'll definitely update you guys with regards to how it goes to prime i'm just using the elf uh matte putty primer I know the girls like different primers out there. This is the one I use, to be fair. I honestly only go onto my T-zone. It's so ironic that today that I want to do a makeup video, I've got a spot on the side of my nose, but that's absolutely fine. Um, I basically just use this on my T-zone because I'm definitely combination skin and my T-zone is where I get oily. I don't know about you guys, but no matter what I do with my nose, it always gets shiny. It doesn't matter how much I prime, how much I set, it always gets shiny. Um, maybe y'all can recommend some products for me. Even though I'm not doing my eyebrows yet, I'll just brush them up. Just, just because, you know. I'm gonna use the Kabuki brush, as I mentioned, and I'm gonna go in with the N961. Also, disclaimer, I do have to apologize if the camera's going in and out of focus a little bit more. I'm basically filming in 4K just to try and see how it works, if it's any better. So if it does look a bit weird, that will be why. So... Are we ready to do this? Yeah. I'm actually not gonna squeeze it directly on my face. I'm gonna squeeze down here and then uh, use the brush to kind of, well, use my finger to just kind of like dab it on. It's so warm. It's so warm. I don't get it. This is supposed to be neutral. So that was essentially one and a half pumps, um, which now in hindsight actually isn't as much as I thought it would be, but let's see how we get on. I have a foundation brush I'm using and I would spray, spray it with some fixing spray. So this one is from Revolution. Where is all that makeup coming from? Um, this one is from Revolution. It's the watermelon one, the dewy spray. I've heard really, really good things about this. That's literally the only reason I got it. I've heard really good things. So I just do like a quick spray and then I'll just go in and blend. Guys, this is so red. I was gonna mix it. So I was gonna mix the the one I'm using with the other one that seemed to be all right. But I don't know, it just didn't, I didn't want to. This brush though, 
This brush is gorgeous. The brush is making a lot of sense. Forehead, I literally don't take too much. More of like an excess, whatever is left over sort of thing. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. And obviously come into your neck under your chin. And for my eyes, I literally just go over again, wherever excess is there. So my eyebrows are actually microbladed. Um, I did a vlog like ages ago now. Um, of when I first got them done. Definitely one of the best decisions I've ever, 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 ever made. But I just say that to say, that's another reason why I kind of just do my eyebrows last, like there's nothing much to do to them. I really love this brush. This was a uh, impulse buy with regards to the rest of the products, but I thought, let me just try it. And I really like it. It's quite dense, obviously very good for packing on your foundation, but um, it doesn't seem to like take up too much of the product either which I really, really like. For the concealers, I'm just gonna swatch it on the back of my hand and see what I think is gonna make sense. This color is N956. I just think it's too red and way too close to the color on my face right now. These are way too dark. What was I thinking? I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm going to try and make these work. This is the N960. I mean, I should have known. Listen to the numbers I'm reading out. They're both quite warm and they're both quite dark. So what we are going to do in that case is I still kind of want to use it because I want to see how it how it works. So I think I'm going to go for this is literally going to be the same color as the concealer, but I'm going to go for N960 under my eyes. I'm basically going to layer my concealer. I'll do it under my eyes and then I'll use another color, which I, I usually use when I'm doing my normal routine and see how that works. My face looks so round. <laughs> anyway, quite a small um, Dofa applicator. It's relatively small, but I guess it's good to kind of like get into your nose contour and things like that. So I'm just going to see under my eyes. Yeah, it's literally the same. It's literally the same color. Well, not literally, but close enough. It's quite a small, how much is this? This is six mil, 0.2 fluid ounces. So it's quite a small package. As you can see with concealer, this is pretty much how I always do it. I do under my eyes, of course, bridge of my nose, top of my lip because it needs some love under my lip as well, so kind of like on my chin, and I uh, put a little bit on my forehead as well. What I will say is usually I let this dry down, um, and then I'll do my, so I would let it dry down. What would I usually do? Let it dry down to do my eyes. So I think we can do that. I'm gonna keep my eyes, when I say super simple, I can't even, you'll see how simple it's gonna be. So I'm gonna do a really, really simple eye just while that dries down a little bit. And then I think I will layer, because I want to see how it blends out before I put the other concealer I'm going to put on top to kind of like brighten up my under eye. So I am going to layer it. Completely unrelated, but this just came to my mind. Um, I'm going to be selling some things on Depop because uh, I, I've given things to charity and I've made my donations. I've used a Farfetch's Thrift Plus service where they basically like collect the clothes and sell it for you. But I definitely still have some pieces that I kind of want to get rid of. So I am gonna be putting things on Depop. I will put it on screen, or if not, if I don't remember to do that in the description box below. So over the next month or so, um, I'll be putting up pieces as I kind of just like sift through my um, autumn winter wardrobe and then pick out some pieces from my summer collection from like last year. And that is literally all I'm gonna to do to the eyes, apart from eyeliner and lashes, of course. So let's see gonna kind of see how this concealer's dried down so usually i would start with my chin and my forehead first and then uh top lip bridge of the nose and then i do my under eye last so i've just got a damp beauty blender sponge obviously that's just gonna blend right in but i'm not mad at it i can't believe i didn't get a lighter color i think online it looks like it's going to be lighter than it is, of course. I think I'm actually willing to maybe buy just one of the lighter colours and see how it fits in with the rest of my routine. But as I said for you guys, I wasn't going to put it on once I tested the colours and saw how like dark and basically similar to the foundation shade they are. But I bought it 
so I might as well test it. I can't return it. So yeah, and for me, obviously it's not dark enough to be a concealer shade, um, not concealer, a contour shade. This is the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer in Satin Finish in a color rich walnut. I love this color. It's just nice and light enough to kind of do what it needs to do. So I'm a fan. All right, and then of course, I'm gonna let that dry down again. So I'll be back. I've let that dry down just a little bit and I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and of course just shade, I said shade, blend it out. So again, as I mentioned, I start with my forehead and when I do my, basically when I do my forehead and my chin, instead of like blending it out, I kind of like just pat into it and then I kind of diffuse it once it's kind of like all gone, only because I'm not really trying to drag out the concealer that I put on my face. Again, I'm not a makeup artist, I'm just saying what works for me. So yeah, I just kind of like pat it in, into the actual spot that it was in, and then I just kind of like blend around once I feel like it's all gone. Same thing with my chin as well. Again, instead of coming like to the side of my mouth too much, I kind of try and take it up that way. And hopefully you can see the nose isn't too harsh. I am gonna contour, I'm still a contour babe, so. That's, it would have been nice again if I had maybe one of the darker concealer shades to contour with, but that's fine. I'll use what I usually use anyway. So for my under eye now, um, I like to bring it into my nose to kind of help with the contouring process. I get really sensitive eyes, especially this one. It likes the water for fun. Apparently I've got dry eyes, so I try to combat that like with eye drops where possible. But I do have to be really careful when blending underneath my eye because if something gets into it, it's game over. With regards to the concealer, kind of give myself fish face or fish lips whatever just pull my cheek to the side and kind of just like blend it out where I think I'm gonna start contouring then I take another beauty blender this one is honestly so dirty but it is what it is this one I keep dry again I know it might be a little controversial but it's just what works for me honestly so what I do is I take another small beauty blender I go in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I basically set my under eye or, or my concealer before I do that just because I know again I get under eye creasing so where possible I literally go in again to try and blend it out and then I basically go straight back in with the other beauty blender now when I do my under eye I proper press it in and then I just take a bit of tissue I take a bit of tissue and I just like pat off the excess and then I go in with it. Do the exact same thing, go into the powder, press it in, make sure I get a good amount of surface area. Again, go with my tissue, just pat off the excess, and then I go into my face. Oh, it's weird using my, holding my beauty blender in my left hand. I don't know where it cut off, but I was just saying, when I do my nose, uh, when I put the powder on my nose, I literally just come in to the sides a little bit again kind of like mimicking what my contour is going to look like but that's kind of me done for baking and setting my face i'm going in with my contour stick from morphe i love this for my darker skin girls um this is 10 out of 10 i've got mine in the shade effect 20 it is the dimension effect contour stick it is so good so 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 good i'm talking uh consistency for my complexion like everything just makes sense so um i go into contour Again, this might be a bit controversial for some. Obviously, I haven't blended up my baking or my powder, but it's just what I like to do. So I go in with my contour. Um, when I contour, again, not teaching you guys how to suck eggs, but for me, what I do is obviously just feel for where my cheekbone is and I go just above it so that I can basically like blend it out. So instead of taking it on my cheekbone and kind of like making my face look a bit longer or whatever, I don't even know what the right thing to say is. I go just above where my cheekbone is. So it will look a bit high when I do it. Um, and I literally just take it like that and the same on the other side as well. Same stick, just kind of take it along the edge um, and I just do my nose as well. You gotta be careful with this one obviously because it's a chubby stick. And I do the same on this side too. All right, and then I just take it along the tip of my nose. Okay, so I've come in a little bit closer. Hopefully this will help. So to blend up my contour, I basically use a small foundation brush or well, foundation brush, concealer brush essentially. I just use this, I use this for my nose. So similar to what I was saying before, instead of going inwards, I kind of go along the line 
try to make sure you guys can see as well I go along the line and I basically like just blend it outwards and I like to take it upwards into my brown line too I like a good contour I'm trying to make sure I can see what you guys are seeing and vice versa cool so that's my uh, concealer brush I just go in with that and just kind of like go in now again i know i said it might be a bit controversial because i've basically gone over my powder with concealer and whatnot that's just how i do my stuff so i literally take this dab 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 careful not to go any higher because remember i've already put it like relatively high anyway dab 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 again i know it might look a little bit high now but remember i'm still gonna do blush uh bronzer all of that stuff at this stage your girl's looking a little crazy but i promise it is all going to be fine so i basically go back in with my small beauty blender which is why i used to put the under the powder on my concealer and stuff and i just go back in and i basically just like pat in everywhere that i put the powder all i do is try and be careful that if it if i think it did touch the contour that i don't then touch my powder because obviously it'll, it'll start looking a bit muddy then what i like to do is take just a little bit of powder honestly just a little bit and kind of like semi reverse contour just to clean up the line at this stage you still think it's looking crazy do not worry we're gonna trust the process i'm wondering what you guys are seeing on camera specifically but i'm actually really liking the foundation and the concealer but the foundation i think is actually Tone wise, I think it's doing a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Then go back in with my powder beauty blender, just take off any excess, um, and then I just go in again and just pat everything in. Almost done. Go in with my Morphe palette again. Guys, for my darker skin ladies, Filter 15 is a finishing powder. This is just so good i basically just take this all over my face and i just pat it everywhere on my face including going over my contour everywhere at this stage even if not go over my brows i'm not too bothered if you know you know mocha mommy i go in with my bronzer and i take my angled i don't even know what to call this brush but it's basically like almost like a powder brush but an angled one I like this a lot for this because I literally go in and I'm quite liberal. My main focus initially is to take it across the contour line. So where the contour kind of went into the under eye. Now, obviously I've got a wig on, so I would usually do it across my hairline. Like I can do a little bit here, but once I take the band off, I will just go over into that section again. Go into the Sephora. As I said, it's Sephora, so you don't know. You already know it's not something I got from this country, but this blush is absolutely gorgeous. It's called Oh My Gosh, number 10. So this, I obviously focus a bit more to the center, but I do like taking it on the tip of my nose as well. Okay, in the interest of kind of saving time and whatnot, because I don't know how long this is gonna be, and obviously I just wanted to focus on the foundation and concealer primarily. I'm gonna do my eyes, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'll probably speed this part up and I'll come back and just finish off and then we can round up the video. Okay guys, your girl done done her hair. Ooh. Wig sorted. So I'm gonna try the the lip combos. Right, so I don't know if you guys will find <laughs> there's so many things I do that I'm like, I don't know if you guys will find this weird, but I go in with the same powder I used to set under my eyes and I basically like dust off my top lip. I don't know. The top lip and like around my corners. Sorry, I'm just patting other places in my face as well. 
Um, I need to put some foundation across my hairline as well, but we'll do that in just a second. I do that because I think it just helps my lip combination. My hands are dry. <laughs> I think it helps my lip combo last a little longer. And then I've basically been using this eyeliner actually from Collection, but I really, really like it as a lip pencil. And then I just go in. My lips are weird because TikTok basically, well, not my lips aren't weird, but I never realized I have like a double lip line. TikTok taught me that. But um, yeah, so I like to create, I actually like to round off my Cupid's bow. I basically like to round it off instead of enhance it. So I'm gonna swatch these. Um, and I think I should swatch it on, um, I mean, I'll swatch it on the back of my hands. You guys know what it is. If it stays on my hand and I can't get it off, then that's a good thing. So I'm gonna swatch both of them. I don't know which one I'm gonna go for just yet. I really like the look of this color Regal. And then I've got um, Ares as well. Ares is the lighter one and Regal is the darker one. I low key wanna try Regal. I'm gonna try Regal. So I've done my lip line already. Then just to go in, ooh, that is cute. Let me come a bit closer. Ooh, that is nice. That is really nice. Regal is a shout, y'all. Yeah? Regal is definitely a shout. Just using my liner to kind of clean up. It's drying, it's drying, it's drying. Before my matte lipsticks always dry, I always go in with a gloss, whatever I'm gonna put on top. So I'm gonna use the nourishing jelly just a little bit. I'm actually gonna pat instead of swipe. Hey, not super glossy, but glossy enough. And then we can finally finish off this video and I'll give you my thoughts. Okay guys, so final thoughts on the Zara makeup bits that I picked up. I have to say I am pleasantly surprised especially about the foundation. So to recap, I actually ended up using the neutral shade N961. And if I do say so myself, just coming up a bit closer as well, I think it actually has um, blended in quite well, especially if I just look at my neck to my face. At first it looked a bit warm, but now I'm just like, okay, so I'm a neutral babe. Is that what it's telling me? But let me know in the description box below if you agree. Secondly, I know I defo messed up with regards to the concealer shades that I picked up, but consistency, applicator, the doe for applicator, the size, I actually think is quite good for traveling again. And just to have, definitely on the smaller size, but it is what it is. I think my star of the show has actually been the brush. This Kabuki brush is 10 out of 10. I, as I mentioned, I use a range of different brushes, so I don't know what I would compare it to, but I'm sure for you ladies out there who kind of have your go-to, I wouldn't say you need to shift, but if you are looking for a new brush or you just want to add to your collection, I actually think this is really, really good. Very sturdy, love how dense the actual applicator is, but it doesn't soak up the product, so I think that's been really good as well. Foundation, pretty good match. But equally, I really love these um, matte liquid lipsticks only because I know I put on the, um, what's this thing called again? The lip jelly, the nourishing jelly. I know I put it on pretty much straight away, but the liquid lipstick doesn't seem to be drying, doesn't seem to be cracking. So that's always gonna be a positive as well. I would say it's quite a hit. I mean, I definitely wanna see how it's gonna wear. So I have set my face, as I mentioned, I use my, usual so i use my setting spray the watermelon dewy one i usually use the urban decay one actually but i'm not going out so you know it is what it is i started my makeup at 2 30 it's literally just an hour later filming your makeup routine does take time but i'm gonna wear it into the evening because i have some other filming to do today so I'm gonna wear it into the evening and see how it goes. But what do you guys think? Do let me know in the comments if you wanna see any other content like this, or if you just liked what I showed you. And also let me know if you are yourselves gonna go and try the Zara makeup. For the UK ladies, the foundation is $14.99. The um, lip was, I think, I'll put it in the description box to be honest. Not the worst price wise. It isn't the cheapest, but it's obviously not the highest, so. Yeah, let me try and keep this ending a bit shorter. All in all, I'm a happy bunny. I will check in with you guys to see how it wears through the day, but so far so good. So if you have made it to the end of the video, thank you of course for joining me today. Let me know if you've liked this sort of content and if you wanna see more. I post Sunday 7 p.m. every single week, so you can catch me there. But until my next video, stay well, stay blessed, good vibes only, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.